Okay, welcome back. In this session, we are going to uh, do revise what to be done for the first time configuration. Just go to the administrative, con uh, administrative navigation here and go to uh, the boundaries. You need to configure your boundary. Boundaries are your uh, you, your SCSIM server that it's going to limit uh, the SCSIM clients, which is going to discover later point. Okay. So the first point would be the boundaries configuration and these every boundary must be part of your boundaries group and these boundary groups are uh, will have the information of your content as well as the site code information. So here if you take this checkbox clients will get the site code and if you add here the SCSIM client will get the management policies as well as the content information. That's a first step, a first step and the followed by uh, discovery methods. Uh, this is where you can discover the actual users discovery, system discovery, and group discovery. So the reason behind for each of uh, them is a different. Some of the companies they don't want to discover user and they just focus on the devices. Some of them are more user centric. Um, so. Uh, it all depends on the company to company and if you are trying to deploy some software based on a, a primary user of a computer then you can target uh, for your users as well as for the workstations it's all up to you uh, and the next step would be the uh, installing the client before you install uh, a system client you can also look at uh, and review your client settings like what are the features you are uh, going to use uh, within the SCCM. so I would request uh, do not change the default one and instead you can create a new custom client uh, settings okay or you can I'm just you know reviewing uh, showing here uh, the default settings the whether you want to use the bits you can enable and the client cache size you want to overwrite uh, from 5GB to something else you can do that here client policies that means every 60 minutes which is one hour client will go and contact a CCM server and it will pull that policy it means that always client has to go and communicate with the server it's not that client always enforces it okay client keeps a policy and uh, client has to, sorry the server keeps a f policy client has to go and get that policy information that's about the 60 minutes and cloud and all these are the different settings which are available as part of the client agent settings okay I'm gonna take any way for all of these settings individually and when we are you know coming back to each and every uh, in when if for example if you take it as the inventory as a feature we have to enable this and uh, if you are or talking about the endpoint protection for the antivirus related we have to enable this features why this grayed out because we ha don't have a uh, uh, endpoint protection uh, rule has not enabled okay so all those things we, we are going to talk it but uh, it, what is what exactly is CCM client if you can understand is CCM client is a combination of different agents let's have a look on a general uh, sorry and component if you look at remote control agent is there like that inventory agent metering agent software update agent so there are multiple agents you have okay so all these agents a combination we are calling as a SECM client SECM client we call it so inside a SECM client there are different client components okay and each component can be enabled by configuring client settings okay and uh, that's about the um, configuration part the first part would be the uh, boundaries and boundary groups and then discovery and client settings and then uh, you can install the SCSM client uh, by right click here and install a client okay so if I do the installation I need to have on a remote machine uh, admin privileges right if you don't have the administrative privileges you can't definitely install so you need to configure some account uh, which will have the permission so to do that you have to go to the administrators uh, administration tab again 